Shinikri, how lovely to see you. If you're not in too much of a rush, I was about to make a pot of tea. Would you like a cup? Take a seat, then, and I'll find us something to nibble on as well. It's so much quieter these days without everyone around. Not that I'm pining for your return, you understand. I have my sources, and I know that each and every one of you is doing well and keeping busy with your endeavors. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm left with a surplus of free time and the question of how to make the most of it. What about you? Any plans for the immediate future? I hope you weren't thinking of asking me for advice. Though if you are open to suggestions, I might have one for you. You've fought bravely and selflessly, helping those in need and saving our star from unimaginable threats. For your deeds, you've been hailed as the champion of Eorzea and a host of other incredible things. But why not put those titles aside for a while? Acquit yourself as a simple adventurer again and travel the world in search of wonder. With so many exciting places to choose from, it's hard to narrow it down. But I believe I have the perfect destination in mind. Savner, that's where you should go next. I doubt you were able to squeeze in a proper tour of Rads at Han the last time you were there. What with the burning skies and rampaging monsters and so forth, and I'm sure Vritra would be pleased to see you. Then there's the bounty itself. The Empire's presence in the region was always a deterrent to exploration. So if you've a mind to sail that sea, now's your chance. Just think of all the new experiences you could have. Tell me. Have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. Oh, I know that look. That's an adventurer ready to take on the world. In anticipation of an occasion like this, I was planning to gift you a new set of traveling clothes, but it's uh, still a work in progress. Shouldn't take much longer now though, so sit tight and I'll have the last few bits sewn up before you can finish another cup of tea.
stitching here and trimming there Not the threads with love and care Just a little more to go. I'm sure you're still brimming with excitement. <laughs> I'm one with the needle. See how the fabric surrenders to my whims. Don't worry. I'll make sure the lining has plenty of pockets for all your little treasures. I swear adventurers are worse than children when it comes to hoarding every feather and leaf and animal hide they come across. Oh, and we mustn't forget the waterproofing. Gods forbid you forget to disrobe before plunging into the sea, or a river, or a piping hot bath. You're awake. My apologies. I do get a little carried away with my sewing. You seem awfully cheerful. Pleasant dream? Or are you just looking forward to the next chapter of your grand saga? Either way, I promise to provide you with new apparel, and so I shall. If you'll accompany me to the Diamond Forge, we can put the finishing touches on your outfit. Shall we? Observe as the artiste refines her piece into a masterpiece, and no napping this time. I only need a moment, you'll see. A little more room in the shoulders, open up the cuffs, a final adjustment to the hem. All done. Let's see how it looks on the mannequin. Well. What do you think? Doesn't it just scream ready for a bold new adventure? I'm so glad you approve. Oh, don't be silly. Your approval is payment enough. If you really want to thank me, though, all I ask is that you wear this on your travels. Or at least anywhere lots of adventurers might gather, ha <laughs> ha.
they'll look at you, a famous hero, and wonder, wherever did she purchase those stylish yet practical garments? And before you know it, hordes of new customers will be climbing over each other to place orders at Tater Uthara's boutique. Mwahaha! I can hear it now, the merry clink clink of gill overflowing from my coffers. Sweet music to my ears. Ahem. Burgeoning merchant empires aside, you must be excited to start a fresh chapter of your life. New places to go, new people to meet, I often wonder how you remember all your experiences and exploits without taking at least a few notes. Oh. Maybe you should start doing just that. You never know when some odd past detail might become relevant, or if one day you'll take a blow to the head and forget the better part of the past decade. Something to keep in mind, in any case. The unending codex is now available under collection in the duty section of the main menu. New entries for prominent terms and characters will be added to the codex as you progress through the main scenario quests. As the, uh, former receptionist and sometimes intelligence gatherer of the science, allow me to offer you a word of advice. Do not expect juicy rumors to simply fall into your lap. Adventurers rely on gossip, and the best places to pick up information are taverns and markets. At present, you only have a broad destination in mind. When you arrive in Thavnair, I suggest you explore your options at Murid's Mayhain, the finest drinking establishment in Rats at Han. Charm the employees, and they'll not only point you in the direction of the local tale tellers, but also share with you the tricks for loosening their tongues. Now, I really must be getting back to running my boutique. Enjoy the journey, Shinikri, and may fair fortune find you. Welcome to Murid's Mayhem. Oh, hello. I did not recognize you at first. Are you here alone? Let me find you a table. Ruins beneath the bounty? Would you be speaking of the sunken treasure vault? We have one regular, a historian, in fact, who could tell you all about it. There he is. Professor Jalheen. I thought I saw him come in. Although a somewhat private sort, the professor is quick to befriend those who share his fondness for the Mayhain's unique beverages. Offer him any drink from our selection, and he should happily share everything he knows about the vault you seek, and a few other odd bits besides. Whatever you buy for him is on the house, by the way. If Murid found out I took coin from Thavnair's savior, she would have me scrubbing pots for a week. Yes? The following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. And what may I do for you, my Eorzean friend?
Well, I certainly wouldn't say no to a drink freely offered. Here we are, one of Murray's finest. Enjoy. Ah, lovely. Bottoms up. Zhao Heen empties the cup in a single pull. That was very kind of you, miss, but I know when I'm being softened up. What is it that you want from me? Oh ho, chasing down that old tail, are you? It does seem to appeal to the adventurous at heart. Now, where to begin? Might I assume you've heard of Al Zadal? He was Khan of the Ori tribe which sailed to Thavnair from the mainland, and a key figure in the history of Rads at Han. His decision to aid the Arkazodara is what ultimately won them the war against the Gajasura, thus allowing our predecessors to lay the foundation for this thriving city-state. The truly fascinating stories, however, concern his grandson, Al Zadal III, who was known for his deeds as Satrap in Rad Zadhan's earlier days. Some attest that this man traveled to another world entirely, and returned with glittering riches. Others that he brokered an alliance with a certain WYRM of the first brood. Then there is the tale of the sunken vault, the one you seem most curious about. According to this legend, Al Zadal III claimed a small island somewhere in the middle of the bounty. There he built a structure reaching clear to the bottom of the sea, a deep and secret storehouse, and locked all his worldly wealth within. In the centuries since, whenever a natural disaster or hardship befell Rads at Han, folk would remember that tale of hidden treasure. Hardy souls would set out to claim their fortune, but precious few ever made it home. Would you like to hear more? Apologies, I have a slight tickle in, oh, my cup appears to be empty. Ah, I see we've reached an understanding. You're a sharp one, adventurer. Another for the professor. Oh ho ho ho. Today was a splendid day to visit the Mayhane. Zhao Heen gulps down his newest drink with gusto. Where were we? Ah, eek. Yes. Those who did return from seeking the treasure vault refused, I mean, flatly refused, to speak of what they saw, did this discourage others? Nay. Quite the opposite. Such accounts only served to feed the legend, and the golden lure grew stronger than ever before. That reminds me of something Azuma was saying, Azuma is a fellow connoisseur of spirit use potables, yes, yes, he is. Anyway, he was saying that one of his acquaint, eek, acquaintances went after the treasure himself. Hasn't been seen since he set sail, I hear, but he did have, ah. No, I can say no more. You seem a generous sort, what kind of man would I be to encourage what is clearly a foolhardy quest? If my words sent you to your death, I could never live with myself. Is that so? Perhaps it's your turn to tell a tale, then. What manner of dangers have you faced? The very edge of existence. From anyone else, I'd struggle to believe it, but I recognize you now. You're the, eek, hero of the final days, a drink. I need another drink to settle my nerves. Melial. More of the same, if you please. As you wish. But this one is on your coin, Professor. Zhao Heen drains yet another cup dry. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, you being who you are, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to share a little more. The ish friend of Azima's, he was desperate to buy a treasure map, one which showed the way to the entrance she of, of the vault. Seems he could only get it from show merchant, what sh his name? Ah, I forget. Let sh drink a toish to you, my new bisht friend. Melial. More drink share. Your drink, sir. Ah, marvelous. I am parched. Zhao Heen gulps down the cup of water. That, that was water. Did you tell her to bring me water? Still, that sh, that sh probably for the bisht. Very kind of you, really. My head will share tamely thank you in the morning. Ugh, I seem to have overindulged. I am put in mind of the words of Mr. Jaltson, be wary how much of the drink you swallow, lest it swallow you. Forgive me, I will subject you to no more of these ungemly, ahem, unseemly antics. If you want to speak with Azima, well, as I said, we share a taste for the Mahane's fine spirits. He probably came in as we were talking, I wish you fortune in, finding your fortune. You appear to have learned all that Jalheen has to share regarding the undersea vault. To find out more, you will need to locate a man by the name of Azima. Yes, I am Azima. And who might you be? All true, I'm afraid. My friend took a ship out in search of Al Zadal's legacy, and I've been watching for his sails ever since. I tried to dissuade him, of course, but he refused to listen. All he could talk about was finding that vault. And that look in his eyes. I knew it wasn't common gold or jewels he lusted after. He was hunting Al Zadal III's otherworldly horde, and his ambition would not be denied. I see it in you, too, that appetite for the mysterious and the unknown, but I'll not attempt to turn you from your path. I know too well the futility of that endeavor. So I will tell you what my friend told me, how he convinced a merchant in the bazaar to give him the rough location of the vault's entrance. It seems this merchant, Wanzis Hill, I believe, is selling a map which shows the exact route, but my friend's purse was too light for its exorbitant price. With what meager wealth he had, he instead paid to learn that there are ruins on a small island somewhere in the bounty. And within those ruins hides the path to the vault deep below. If you truly intend on seeking Al Zadal's treasure, I suggest you put your affairs in order. I wish things were different but I do not believe my friend is ever coming home. What's all this about? My mother and father were slaughtered by monsters. My baby sister still too young to fend for herself. Can you spare us no kindness? So, you hope to find your fortune? And what? 
You expect me to surrender my wares for pity's sake? What have you to offer in payment? As I thought. Come back when you've more than rags to your name. This is no mere treasure map. It is a guide to the vaults of Arzadal III. One of the great Sar traps of Radzat Han, and a direct descendant of Alzadal Khan. A map to Alzadal's legacy. So he says. A fake I'd wager. This is no fake. The parchment is marked with an arcane glyph of passage. You may find the ruins hidden in the bounty. You won't be setting foot inside without this in your possession. A priceless artifact it is. Discovered amongst the rubble in the aftermath of the final days and lovingly restored by yours truly. This map is the key to fabulous riches. And I'll be the king of fools to simply give it away. Be glad I am no such king boy. Your scrawny eye did never return with that treasure alive. <laughs> Why must you tempt me with wealth I am powerless to claim? How I shall envy the one who purchases that precious map! Whatever they pay will be but pittance against the golden hoard they stand to uncover. What of you, sir? Fighting man of your stature would surely relish the challenge of recovering Alzadal's lost fortune. A fortune, you say? If I had but the strength to seize that treasure, my starving sister would never want for food. I'll take it. Will this cover the price? Well met, my friend. Someone is dressed for adventure. But why Favner of all places? Knowing you, I suspect there's more to your plans than sightseeing and shopping. Ruins beneath the bounty. Curious. And here I've acquired a map to just such a site. With that sale, I do believe I've earned the rest of the day off. Thank you for your patronage, sir, but if you'll excuse me. You needn't mind us. And now I'll fleece one of the heroes of the final days. Pray the sisters were looking elsewhere. This map may or may not be genuine. Either way, we'll need a ship to find out for sure.
Lest you misunderstand, I seek the treasure not for myself. If such a fortune truly exists, then it could help ease the struggles of those who lost their loved ones in the final days. I hope to do for Thavnir what you and Alphano did for the Alamegans when you recovered the Mad King's trove. Come now. You know Alphano needs little encouragement when it comes to recounting the tales of your shared exploits. Speaking of precocious lads, that boy in the bazaar was clearly an accomplice of the merchant. Suppose his role was to draw the attention of the crowd and add weight to the merchant's bold claims. Transparent act for the most part, it was not all mummery. The need to provide for his sister rang true enough. Thus, if some portion of the profits end up in that waif's pockets, then I will consider it money well spent, whether the map leads us to the vault or not. You are coming along, yes? I appreciate the concern, but... One thing I've learned from my time with the science is how to better manage my coin purse. Now, let's see about securing a vessel. <laughs> 